Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. J, and today I've got a question for you. Is your dental care based on sound fundamentals and best practices? Let's go ahead and talk about it. It seems like every day there's a new product, technique, or procedure that comes along to help enhance or make the process of restoring someone's mouth with implants faster or save dollars for the dentist. The bottom line is that some of these things are good, but without sound principles in surgery, surgical technique, as well as sound principles in prosthodontic rehabilitation. That's a long phrase. What do I mean by that? The science of how to rebuild someone's entire system properly functioning and proper aesthetics. So combining the surgical part with the rehabilitation part to get an excellent result that's gonna last a long time. And some of these techniques that we talk about that come along every day, they are good adjunct. They're good techniques and good technology. I use my CBCT or my 3D scanner as a technique. I use my facial scanner as a piece of technology to use, but without my training in surgery and without my training in complex occlusion or bite management and without my training in how to make teeth look good in the face and smile and, and blend it all together, it would never work. Why am I talking about this? I'm really passionate about this because there's a lot of people that are getting these types of treatments with the techniques and the new lab process and the technology without the sound principles behind it. And because of that, we're seeing right now a lot of necessary remakes or redos of these big procedures. And it costs enough the first time around. It's an investment in your health. You don't want to have to do it a second time. Sometimes people don't even have enough bone. They have to do a whole bone graft rehabilitation to even get back to square one once you've been through this the first time. So it's really, really important that we discuss this. So when you're looking for a dentist, it's important to talk and ask about their education and where do they learn their surgical skills? Or if they're doing both parts, where do they learn their rehabilitation or smile and function rebuilding skills? And not just the technique and the technology. So again, it's something that I use every day, but to be clear, I am not anti-technology and advancement. I am very much on the cutting edge and use these things every single day to the betterment of our patient's health. What's troubling me is there seems to be a trend of dentists and practitioners that are really quick to adopt a new technique to get patients moving fast through their door at the expense of sound fundamentals and surgery and rehabilitation. At the end of the day, my hope for patients is that they're getting the best, longest lasting, and most conservative dental treatment they can get. Not necessarily the cheapest or the coolest looking thing because those are not always the best. I hate to use a cliche, but you do get what you pay for. And not everything that looks new and exciting is important if the fundamentals and proper education isn't behind it. So please make sure that you speak with your dentist. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And this is another episode of Ask Dr. J.